Is all emergency response effective? Let's see what can go wrong in fisheries and aquaculture emergency response. In terms of gear, the wrong gear may be provided, so it does not actually get used. Or too much gear means that it goes to waste or contributes to overfishing. In terms of vessels, wooden boats create a possible unsustainable demand for timber, whereas fibre-reinforced plastic boats need resin to be imported to ensure proper maintenance. In the haste to get people back to fishing quickly, unsafe boats may be supplied, or there may be over-replacement of boats, contributing to overfishing. As for infrastructure, post-harvest racks or dryers are provided, but there may be no fish to dry on them, so they remain unused. Infrastructure markets are built, which are disproportionately oversized for the amount of vessels they cater for, and which, in addition, rely on power and water supplies to function, which may not be readily available. When boats are supplied with imported engines, self-help yards do not have the relevant spare parts. For aquaculture specifically, hatcheries may be located too far away from the sites, so when seed arrives at site it is weak or diseased. Overcrowding of sites is also an issue. In the emergency response effort, some fishers and communities are oversupplied, while others remain excluded. As we can see, many things can go wrong in fisheries and aquaculture emergency response. This is why this FAIR course focuses on assessment, coordination and use of best practice, underpinned by the three key approaches of livelihoods build back better and value chains to inform an integrated fisheries and aquaculture emergency response.